Hello Internet, and welcome back to Dark Diode, here with episode number 10, that's right, double digits, of Mira Oni, the village demon. In the last episode, it was revealed that the vessel of the Mira Oni, the physical manifestation of the demon that needs to be killed in order to rid the town of the Mira Oni once and for all, is none other than Suki's little brother, Hikaru. Oh, we also had some screams in the background, but... Uh, whatever. Anyway, let's do this. Let's see... Oh wow, look at the sprite. Let's see where this takes us. So, yeah, actually, let's check out this letter. Obtained final author's note. It's the end. I hope you made the right choices throughout your journey, and if not, I hope you made some backup saves right before important decisions or choices. And if you didn't proceed down the other route, try going for that afterward. Acts 4 and 5 changed drastically going down that other path. I'll end this final note with my sincere thanks. Thank you for playing Mura Oni. Oh man, it's been a blast so far, but this isn't the end of Mura Oni, right? I'm going to go down that other path that the note described, and I'm gonna get, I'm gonna try and get as many endings as I can for you, for you viewers. So rest assured, this series isn't ending with this episode. I can still catch a whiff of that burning smell. Yo, bro, you in there? Hello? Okay, looks like it's permanently locked. I wonder what happened to Hikaru. I wonder if you can bust down that door. And I wonder what you would find. Would you find Hikaru just... I, I don't know. Burning smell. It's getting stronger. Oh my god, what's happening? The door is locked. Why is the bathroom locked? Who locks their bathroom? Wait, where's mum? But where's mum? Mum. Where did everyone go? Oh my god. What happened to everyone? Oh my god, what's happening? Can we go into here? No, we can't. It's just pushing us back. Okay, I guess we save here. Holy Jesus Christ, everything is on fire. Why is there a skeleton right there? The, the town. What? Well, why is everything on fire? This is bad. I have to go check on Daisuke and the others. Oh my god. I'm so sorry. And it just went up in flames. Holy crap. Can I enter? No, I can't. What about you? Oh no. I don't think I can take much more of this. Jesus Christ. No. Did did we make some bad choices? I thought we made some good choices, but apparently not. All these doors I can't get into. Oh, Jesus Christ. No, for Miko. Miko, no. Don't tell me you're dead. N no way. For Miko? For, for Miko. Please. Get up. For Miko was gone. There was no saving her. She had inhaled too much smoke from the fire. No, for Miko. I. I'm. I'm sorry. Oh my god, this game just got really dark. I, I couldn't... I, I couldn't save you! What if I investigate these skeletons? Do I just burst into flames? They do. Oh, jeez. Everyone's dead. What could I have done? I mean, there are many choices I could have made differently. So I'll go back to those and make sure I choose those. 
so that I can present all the endings to you fellow viewers. All these skeletons are just burning up. I don't know why. Is there... There's another one here. What happens if I make all of them burn? There's also a safe one over here. Can I go here? No, I cannot. There's also a save point. Why is there a save point? Daisuke's house is right there. I have to check on him first. Okay. Let's do that. Okay, we've got a transition with the door opening. Oh no! Daisuke! Behind you! There's a shadow. The, the Muroni. Oh no, the sad music. Oh, no. Suki, what are you doing here? D Daisuke. Behind you. I oh, know. The demon is behind me. W what? No, dude. Come on, you, you can get out of here. Let's go. Let's get out of this village. The demon. It. Dude, come on. Just don't look at it. When I woke up. I smelled something burning, so I went to go check it out. I went downstairs and there. The shadow was standing there as if anticipating my presence. It spoke to me. It told me you would be arriving soon. Also notice how there's no faces to the right of these text or to the left of these text boxes? I find that really intriguing. Suki, you fell into its trap. No way. Well, that doesn't matter. What matters is that we get out of this place. It's going to be engulfed in flames any minute. Yeah, come on, dude. We, we can go. Suki, can't you see? Is it not obvious? What? What, what, dude? I can't move. Oh no. The shadows paralyzed me. Die scare. But, well, then I'll just come to you and pull you away from that monster. No, no, don't do that. The, the shadow will kill you if you take another step. Then, what do you suggest I do? Leave. But leave? You expect me to leave? Daisuke, I'm not leaving without you. Suki, why won't you understand? The shadow is not going to let me go. A and if you stay here, you're going to meet the same fate as me. I, I can't bear to leave you. All the corpses outside. I found Fumiko dead on the street. And my mum. I, I think she's gone too. I can't lose anyone else. Suki. I really want to be with you. But... I don't think I can. The mark on my hand... Well... It means my fate is sealed. I'm bound to die. Suki, you can't save me. I... I... Can't save you? No. You should leave. No. I can't just leave you here to die. Why? Why are you so stubborn? I... I don't want you to die because of me.
Can you listen to my final request? Let me save you one more time. Pretend I'm keeping the demon here and just run away. I want to be more confident. Would you let me do that? Daisuke. Are you sure? Positive. Listen, Suki. I like you a lot. And I know you can only think of me as a friend. What do you mean, dude? She said that she returns your feelings. But even so, I can't bear to live if... If you passed. Won't you grant my request? Run! Get away from here! I know Subaki's in danger. You need to go help her! She's your friend too. Daisuke. What about you? I'll be fine over here. Please. Don't worry. When you worry, well, it only makes me worry too. But... Hey, Suki, do you remember what you said to me? That one day, by the river. Oh, his eyes opened up. You told me, no worries, okay? The happiest smile on your face. Well, Suki, no worries, okay? It's time to return the favor. Oh, this is hitting me right in the feels, man. I thought we were going to get a happy ending. I thought that all of this was going to work out, but apparently not. Did we run out? Oh, no. Suki ran towards Daisuke, and her lips met with his. She gave him a kiss. Daisuke, have this before I go. Suki, I... Thank you. Oh, we got... Oh, no. Just then, Suki's left hand began to glow. On it was the same mark as Daisuke's. Suzuki, watch out! Oh, no. Oh, no. S Suki? What the hell did you do to Suki? Bring her back! Oh no, they're gonna kill Daisuke. N no. Oh, and he's dead. So, God knows what happened to Hikaru. Tsubaki's marked as well, which means she's dead. So, the mirror only won. The town is completely destroyed. Which is probably one of the worst endings we could get. Bad end. Love post-mortem. Well, that's one of the bad endings. But, let's go down that second path. And so, because I was a complete idiot, I didn't back up any of my saves, which means I need to go and redo the basically the first three episodes. But on my own, not actually record them because that'd be another three episodes that I don't really need to record because you've already seen them. So, yeah, I'll see you all when I get back to that part. Alright, I'm back. And hey, remember when I not used to be as peaceful as this with all this happy music? Yeah, back in episode three, I think it was. So, I'm currently about to find Daisuke for the final time in this hiding spot and then we can have that conversation which will then lead on to that choice whether he tells Suki his feelings so I'll just skip the I'll just completely cut out that conversation up until that choice and then I'll start recording again all right and now we're at this choice 
So this is first time that you make a choice in the game. And so last time, of course, we chose I like you, but let's go down the different path. Let's say, oh, it's nothing. So I have no idea what happens beyond here. Ah, uh, don't worry about it. Just a lot of nostalgic memories stirring about me in my head. Oh, must be a little hard to manage that all. Yep, but don't worry, it's fine. Well, alright, if you say so. I remember. This was the place. Where I became your friend. Yeah. I can still remember the look on your face when I said I wanted to be your friend. Ha. Huh. Well, yeah. The other kids thought I was weird for not talking to anyone. So, it really surprised me. You're willing to come down and sit beside me. You were the first. The first to do that. By the way, if you wanted to see the conversation leading up to this, I suggest you go back to episode 3. There should be a link in the top right, right about now, with a link there, if you want to refresh your memory. Suki. Say, Daisuke, I always hear you talk about your mum. But for as long as I've heard I've been your friend, I've never heard any mention of your father. Why doesn't he live with you anymore? He's not responding. Okay, this seems the same as before. So, he uh, goes through his repressed memories. Um, then he gets up and he goes in the forest. Sorry, I have to go, Suki. Uh-huh. Bye. So... I believe from here we have to check at Daisuke's house. Oh, what an idiot you are, Suki. Why don't I have to be curious? Because that's what everyone is. Every human being is curious. This is worrying me. I'll go to his house and check on him. So, we go to... Daisuke's house. Uh, I think Kasumi is his mum. She says that no, he's not there, but he likes to go to that house. Alright, so if all of this is just the same as in episode 2 or 3, I think it's 3, but I could be wrong. Actually, no, it might be 2. Anyway, it doesn't matter. So if it's all the same, I'm just going to cut it out. Alright, I'm back, and we're now at a decision where Daisuke has just asked <coughs> if uh, we're going to allow him, well, if we're going to pose for him, to help him out, you know? So, I guess in this run, we can just do the opposite of what we did in the original run. So in this case, I'll refuse. I know it's a bit of a dick move, but... Hey. We gotta try and find all these endings. As much as I want to help you, I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't be a good model for you anyway. Sorry, uh, I mean, I just don't want to give you a hard time. Hey, don't feel bad, it's okay. Here, we can just read manga. A new volume came out for that one manga we've been following. Ooh, I've been waiting for it all month. Gimme, gimme. Oh, okay, so this is new. Haha, <laughs> as much as it would be great helping him, the thoughts of him staring at me. Oh, it's because... It's either because Hikaru likes Daisuke, or he's remembering back to his school days. Okay, so at this part, Suki meets up with Shibaki, and, you know, they go to lunch, and then they go to, uh, Kasumi's house, or Daisuke's house. So I'm just going to skip this bit, and I will be back. So, what's happening now is that Suki is at Daisuke's house, 
And this is the point at which she's thinking, oh, should I pop in to Daisuke's room to see what Daisuke and Hikaru are up to? So the last time we said don't peek because I didn't want to invade their privacy. But of course we're going to do the opposite, so let's take a peek and see what happens. A little peek won't hurt. Now, let's see what's going on. Oh, the music's changed. Have you seen this manga yet? Oh, I have. It's by one of my favorite authors. Really? I like this author too. Here, here. Want me to show you the other books I have by this guy? Sure, go ahead. I should get into the habit of asking you for good manga more often. Oh my god, this is too cute. I ship him. I shouldn't spy on them like this. Just leave these cute boys be. Oh, the music in the background, it's so weird. I should probably head back to Subaki now. It's so ominous, the background music. <laughs> Suki, the food is ready. Let's go. Alright, I'm coming. You're gonna love the food I, I bought for us. Say, what are you doing beside the door to Daisuke's room? Oh, it's nothing. Okay. Come on, let's just hurry up. Sparky has accompanied you. Okay, so... I believe now that before we go, we have to speak to Kasumi. Yep, that's right. So there's this big cutscene where she explains... Well, she doesn't explain much, but she says to come back a bit later on when she's got her stuff together. Her, um, her thoughts and memories back together. So... This is going to be another cut, until I get to something unique. And we are at a unique point again, well not a unique point, but a decision point. So, what's happening is that Suki has asked Subaki if she's going to go to the camp. Now, last time we got to this point, we said, I agree. But, because we chose that, we're going to choose the opposite. So we're going to say, sorry, we can't make it to the camp. I'm sorry, I'm not with everyone else. I mean, why plan something like this right now? Everyone's on the edge. Because of the deaths, the deaths haven't happening around town. It just doesn't seem right to plan this at the moment. You're probably doing this for the sake of keeping us happy. I understand. But I feel like we'd be putting ourselves in danger by leaving the town. I don't know. That's just how I see it anyway. Okay. Looks like I was too stupid to think this over. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for, ju for suggesting that idea. You're right. We just put ourselves at risk being separated from the town. Don't feel down, sis. I like the idea. It's rare all four of us spend time together like this. That's right. Don't beat yourself up. I'm sorry for ruining the fun. Perhaps, once things settle down, we can try planning the trip. Yes, that would be much better. I'm sure... Sweetie, where did you go? Huh? Who's that? Hmm? I check it out real quick. I wonder what it could be. Well, we know now that it's Fumiko. And Anna is the one calling for Fumiko because she has been chased by the forest. Not the forest, but by the demon. Suki, I need your help! Uh, what's the matter? It's my daughter. She went out without me noticing and I think she's in the forest. I've looked everywhere else and found no trace of her. Oh no. This isn't good at all. We have to go and find her right away. 
I don't know the forest well, so I'd only be a burden if you brought me with you. Don't worry, I'll go get her. I'll need to go tell the others. So now we've got another decision. Uh, so, last time we allowed his request. So, because we're doing the opposite uh, run, we're going to deny his request. I, uh... Well, that's awfully sweet of you, Neckle, but don't you worry, I'll be fine. Please don't worry, it'll only make me worry. Why? Daisuke, I could say the same thing for you. I don't want to see you putting your own self in danger because of me. So, cheer up, okay? I'll be back soon. Alright. Stay safe. I will. Alright, so... Now we've got to do that whole forest section as Suki. I should get going now. Yep, and so there's going to be a chase scene and then I have to get out alive. And that's going to be fun, so uh, I'll just skip this part and go straight there. Alright, so I made it to Fumiko. And let's see what's going to happen. I found you. Are you alright? Um, hello? <gasps> well, this didn't happen last time. Shh. I can't move. What's going on? Uh oh. Oh no, it's faded to black. Uh oh. What, what was that sound? What happened? Oh no. Has Suki been marked? Suki fell to the ground with a thud. Oh, so does that mean that Daisuke is gonna have to go into the forest anyway? She fell unconscious. Is this a bad end, or...? Oh no, it continues on. Okay, never mind. It's been almost an hour now. Don't you guys think she's taking a little too long? Yeah, I'm very worried. Do you think something could have happened? Maybe she just hasn't found the girl yet. Either way, I know she'll be fine. My sister's a fighter. She won't go down that easily. I'm going to look for Suki. Huh? Are you sure, Daisuke? Y yes I'll be back soon. Well, don't say I didn't warn you. And don't come back until you found her. Of course. Alright, so... I wonder what's gonna happen now? Like, what changes? Now that we've gotta find both Suki and Fumiko. And I wonder if Suki is going to be marked. I have a suspicion that she's going to be marked. I can sense something nearby. I need to hurry. Alright, so let's go find Suki. I'm assuming it's just going to be the same path as the one I took to find Fumiko as Suki. Now, I remember... Up here is where we were jump scared as Suki. Oh, we didn't get jump scared that time. Okay. That's good. Because I don't like getting jump spooked. It's not a huge pleasure of mine to get spooked like that. So anyway, this is where Fumiko was last. Up this way. Suki! What? What happened to Fumiko? N no! Suki! What happened? Die. Scare. What happened here? Die. Scare. Is that you? Yes, it's me. Snap out of it. Die. Scare. What? What's happening? Oh, she's up. Okay, cool. Oh, where's Fumiko? Daisuke! 
How'd you find me? I don't know, but I'm glad I did. Suki, you were passed out on the ground. Did you, did something happen? I, I thought I found the girl. And I tried talking to her. But then, I was knocked out cold. I don't think that was the girl. The shadow, I bet. Say, where's the girl? You mean for Miko? I still haven't found her. Oh no, this is terrible. What are we going to tell Anna? Should we go look for her again? I, I really wish we could, but that thing doesn't want us in here. Sorry, Miko. Maybe later on we can ask the whole town to search for her. We'll definitely be safer that way. Yes, of course. Should we get going now? <gasps> hey, Suki? Hmm? What is that thing on your hand? Oh no, she's been marked. I thought so. I thought this was going to happen. R right there, on the back of your hand. But they're not going to know what it is because Suki hasn't read the Book of Demons yet. What's an X doing on my hand? Looks like some sort of scar. Does it hurt though? Um, well, not really. Let's get going now, shall we? Uh, yeah, of course. Are we going to have to do the chase scene? I hope not, because that's going to suck. Oh, thank God we don't have to do the chase scene. We made our way back to the town. Fortunately, we didn't see the shadow. But what happened to Fumiko? However, we didn't see Fumiko either. And so we worried about her safety. We really wanted to look for her, but the shadow would still be in the forest, and we knew it wouldn't let us find the girl that easily. Well, wow, okay. So, in our previous playthrough, we found Fumiko, and there was a happy reunion, but things have gone completely topsy-turvy. I... I appreciate all you people caring for Fumiko, even though she still hasn't been found yet. I, I hope that soon the town, they will find her. This is my fault. I should have kept my eye on her. Though, I'm so grateful for your efforts. But, now look at what happens. I put you in danger, Suki. I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused you. It's, it's no problem. I'm so sorry I couldn't find Fumiko. I'm sorry you couldn't reunite with Fumiko. Well, maybe if you helped look for her. This is terrible. Why is this happening? Maybe because only one person went to look for Fumiko? At the beginning? Hikaru, you feeling okay? Huh? Oh, yeah. He's feeling down. Uh. I, I think I should get going. Goodbye. Let's get going too, shall we? Mm-hmm. It finally happened. The shadow made another appearance, and this time was set out to get us. It went after me for the second time, after my time back in the manor. I was sure that it wasn't done there. I had to act fast to protect the people around me and the town's growing happiness. Over the course of several days, I became more and more conflicted. I felt more paranoid. My fake outside smile was starting to wear off. I decided to do some more research. After another trip to the library a few days later, I was able to re retrieve the book, and so I read it thoroughly. I became engrossed in the reading. Getting caught by the shadow. I knew it wasn't gone for good. And I was foolish enough to go and face that danger. Couldn't even find Fumiko either. If it managed to catch her, then what? And where did this weird marking on my hand come from? 
Never mind that. I have to do some research on the shadow. I know it's not going to just give up and walk away, so maybe some background information on it would be ideal. Alright, time to read that book. Alright, well, we've seen how Suki discovers more information about the Mura Oni already, so... Alright, this is where I'm going to end this episode. Thanks so much for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, make sure to slap the like button and leave a comment down below. I'll see you all in the next video.